In this video, you will learn how to install the Solar Edge Home Hot Water Controller. Let's start by identifying the hot water controller interfaces. The on-off P switch, AC connection, the communication gland, LEDs, and last, immersion heater connection. Now, let's have a look at what the package contains. A mounting bracket, locking screws, the Solar Edge home hot water controller with the antenna kit attached, and a QR code that links to the installation guide. To allow access and proper heat dissipation, maintain a minimum clearance of 20 centimeters from top, seven centimeters from bottom, and 10 centimeters from a wall or inverter. Let's mount the device. Position the bracket against the wall, level it, and mark at least two drilling holes. Once the holes are drilled, mount the bracket using mounting screws. Verify that the bracket is firmly attached to the wall. Now hang the hot water controller on the bracket. Next, attach the mounting clip with the antenna vertically to the right top of the heat sink fins. Alternatively, you can mount the antenna on the wall. Insert the supplied screws on each side of the device and fasten them to the bracket. Next step is connecting AC and the immersion heater to the hot water controller. Start by turning off the AC circuit breaker. Then, make sure the on-off P switch is off. Release the four screws attaching the device cover to the enclosure and remove it. Now connect AC to the grid. Insert the AC grid cable through the left gland. Then connect the AC wires according to the labels on the left terminal block. Now that AC is connected, let's connect the immersion heater. Insert the cable from the immersion heater through the right gland. Connect the three wires according to the labels on the right terminal block. In case you installed Solar Edge PT100 temperature sensor on the water tank, Insert the temperature sensor cable through the communication gland and connect the three wires accordingly. Review the dedicated temperature sensor installation guide for more information. Now, close the device cover and fasten the screws. Turn on the AC circuit breaker of the main distribution panel. Turn on the device by turning the on-off P switch to on. You should see the blue LED blinking and the yellow LED flickering. That's it, you are all done. For configuring the system, use our mobile unit in Edge Academy.